Hello all, today we will be talking about the switch function in Unreal Engine 5's blueprint. You can use the switch to perform different operations based on the input value of an enumerator. Let's jump in. In a new level, I'll right click in my content drawer, create a new blueprint class of type actor. Now I'll double click to open this up and I'll go to my construction script. First, I'll add one component. I will add a cube. And we can see that we have now a one by one by one cube in our viewport. In our construction script, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the switch functionality to perform a different operation on the cube based on whether or not I say I want this object to edit the rotation, scale, or location value of this object. So, what does the switch look like? If I type switch on, and so these are all enumerator values that already exist within the game. So anytime you see kind of a drop down, that it's an enumerator. So we're going to use E for enumerator, transform constraint type. And here it says a selection. So these are all the different selections of transform constraint types in Unreal Engine. If I pull off here, and I say promote to variable. I'll call this uh, selected transform operation down here in the bottom right or bottom left. And I will click the little invisible eyeball to make this exposed to my blueprint. All right, so what we're going to do is basically in each level instance of this blueprint, if I were to say, you know, select rotation or translation or scale, it will perform different operations. So to start off, what we'll do is we'll grab our cube, drag it onto our screen here, and we will grab our default scene root. We'll say get world transform of this component. I'll right click return value to split this struct pin, and we will set world transform of our cube. I'll drag location. Actually here, I'll uh, right click and say split struct. I'll drag my location into location, rotation into rotation, and I'll keep scale at 111. So I'll drag this into here. So that basically each time it constructs, it will reset the value to the information from the default scene root. I'll drag this in here. And then now, depending on our enumerator we select, it will perform a different operation. And now we'll add logic for each of these different operation types. We'll start with transform, uh, or translation. So I'll grab my cube, drag it out onto here, and I'll say set world location. I'll drag this pin into here. I'll double click to add a reroute node, move this up here. And I'll say, I'll grab my default scene root, say get world location. I'll pull off the end of this and I'll say add the operator. I'm going to say make vector off this bottom pin. And then I will say, I'll drag off C and say random float in range. And I'll set the max as 500. So basically, each time this constructs, it's going to get the location of our default scene root, which is the base of this object. And it's going to move the cube a certain amount uh, of distance in the Z between 0 and 500 units. I'll grab this. I'm going to press C on my keyboard. I'll, I'll comment this and say location. Now we'll work through these other elements for our cube. We'll drag this off again, and I will say set world rotation. I'll pull off here. I'm going to say random rotator. So we'll just use a completely random rotation value. I'll drag this, comment it with C, and say rotation. And I'll copy and paste my cube with control C, control V. 
And what I'll do here is I want it to be a uniform scale. So I'm going to right click down here and I'll say random float in range. I'm going to promote this to a variable and I'll call this uniform scale. I'll drag this in here and I'm going to explain why I did that in a second. I will say off the cube, set world scale 3D, drag in here, and I'll pull off here where it says new scale and say make vector. Make vector. And then I'll say uniform scale here and drag it in there like that. And so the reason I did this is if I were to copy this and, you know, do this basically, each time it gets this random float, it's going to pull a different value into this X, Y, and Z because it's going to be random. Um, so by setting it as a variable, it's going to make sure that it's uniform and it's only performing this random float value operation one time. So I'll say my random float value for scale will make it between 0.5 and 2 in scale. I'll select this, hit C on my keyboard, and type scale. All right, so now based on this value, we'll perform unique operations for location, rotation, and scale. And let's see how this looks in our viewport. I will put this into a separate tag, tab, and from my content drawer, I will Uh, let's make sure this is in here. So I didn't drag that in. So, um, so by default, it's set to translation. Let's, let's duplicate, make three of these. One, two, three, by alt and dragging. So you can see when it's set to translation, uh, it's going to affect the location. It's going to do that setting of the vertical value of 0 to 500. So now if I set this to rotation and drag this up, you can see that it's going to randomly set the rotation value of this object. And if I set this one to scale, I'll move this up in space, is that each time I drag it, it will construct from a random scale value of 0.5 to number two. So if you want to make these also construct only at the very end, what you can do is in class settings, uh, under blueprint options, says run construction script on drag, what you'll want to do is turn this off. Compile and save. And then we go back, you'll see that on the drag, it doesn't run the operation. But at the very end, it will. And that'll affect all three of these. That's all for today's video. Hope you guys learned something. And if you enjoyed this video, Please leave a comment, let me know what you want to learn next, and subscribe for more Unreal Engine 5 content. Thanks all.